do you think there's going to be opportunities where maybe certain companies will emerge that can figure out a way to manufacture or is it just so difficult to well it's all the pieces of it so mo many chips so if you look at semiconductors, for example, the wafers are made in fabs. Those fabs can be in multiple places in the world. You might have some in Japan, a few in America. Intel has the bulk of them. Global foundries, I think. Global foundries is a, is a big one, too. Um, but most of those dyes, and then TSMC, but most of those dyes end up going to Southeast Asia, typically in Malaysia, to be packaged. So they're diced, packaged, and then uh, you have these little high-speed sort of sewing machine looking things that do all the wire bonding to the chips oh, and, cool. and packaging is getting so sophisticated it's no longer the ant-like black encapsulated packages with little legs on them they're yep. all surface mount and surface mount has moved to ball grid arrays and these are getting very sophisticated and yeah i agree they're very specialized as to who can do those there are nanometer lines now and i just saw an article yesterday they're moving to angstroms like you have to measure now Seriously? in angstroms wavelengths of light <laughs> or less much less actually that's, um, that's incredible. Yeah. So the stuff boggles my mind. Obviously, I, I feel like people are way smarter than me are working on this. But there are a lot of good people investing heavily in this. Um, also, even packaging is now where most of the cost is, and also a lot of the research efforts. Because if you could do, for example, for example, three silicon vias, where you might not need to do the wire bonding, okay, uh, you can start to stack dyes. There's a tremendous amount of good work going into repackaging these systems silicon on chip or uh, you know there's a lot of ways to package multiple dyes in a small area too interesting the thermal issues will you know be there forever but, uh, <laughs> as we all know uh, strap a giant hunk of metal onto that i guess and call of course it cooling water cooling i mean there's all kinds of things that, that people are doing so i think there's still a ways to improve cost performance packaging That'll, you know, there's there's a lot of a lot of ro runway left in, in doing that. Uh, Moore's law is sort of plateauing, but it's uh, you know somebody's going to come up with some very clever architectures. AI type techniques may allow you to do more processing in a shorter period of time to get this get to the same result.